my loves. So today is going to be, I'm kind of really looking forward to it. I am meeting up with my bestie and we are actually going to go check out some vintage stores that the both of us haven't checked out in, I think, over 10 years. So we're not sure what to expect, but we thought we'll bring you along. It was our day to catch up. So we're going to have some lunch anyway. Let me show you what I'm wearing. So I am wearing these very ripped denim jeans. I can't remember where I got them from, but if I do, I will link them. This is just a plain silk cami from Lily Silk. It might even be a leopard print. And then I've just got this coat again, which is just in orange because Melbourne is actually a bit, uh, it's not cold, but you'll probably need a cardigan of some sort. And then on my ears, can you see this? These are actually my vintage Chanel earrings. So pretty special, but I just thought, you know, I'll wear something vintagey today. And then I am wearing my mini Aluna. I just wanted something really easy so I would be hands-free. And yeah, it fits quite a bit in there. So I do still have a code for Senrev. I will leave it down below, but uh, you do get $50 off. If I do find a better code, I'll put it in there as well. But I love this and the Mini Maestro is my favorite. So really highly recommend. And this is in the gorgeous sort of chestnut color. And then on my feet, these are so comfortable. You guys know I love these sort of clear perspex heels. I will link something in similar if I find it. So that is my outfit and we are going to head off. So that's my entire outfit, just very, very cash. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. We are off to check out the lost and found vintage market. Let's take a look. It's very retro. As long as you This is really cool. So in this place, there's just all different stalls from clothing to some brick and brac. So you do really need to have a look through. It's got bags. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I think we're going to be here for a little bit. Look. So I love these type of stalls. We'll have to see what we can find. But this is just a quick look around, even costumes, some cool furniture. Yeah, there's quite a lot of different stalls here. Look at this. So lost and found vintage market in Fitzroy. Forever checking out teacup sets. I especially like the ones that are, have the trio. I don't really go by any particular brand, but I do prefer the ones that are made in England. So, small picking the ones that I think look the prettiest. So, these two are okay. Don't love, love them. Yeah, Royal Veil, vale, and they're all about. These ones are $14. So in these stores, you really need to have a good look around. But as you can see with this vintage top, I mean, these sort of bigger collars, you've kind of seen in the last six months being really, really popular. And you know, it's obviously derived inspiration for the 80s or 90s. Now in this store, it is a more pricier than what you would find, say, in op shops. 
But I would say things range from about 20 to, you know, $100 depending on the jacket. So that blouse is quite cute if you like the bit more exaggerated collar. I might give that a go. And they've also got, you know, for floral lovers like me, they've always got gorgeous sort of 50s A-line kind of dresses. They've got, you know, a huge range of checkered jackets or herring bones. So they're always good buys. But yeah, as you can see, it's just you got to have a really big rummage through. We'll be stronger than all. So this isn't bad, except look, too small. <laughs> yeah, this is what you called eating too much during COVID. So it is too tight, but the neckline and everything wouldn't have been bad if it was a little bit, you know, looser. <laughs> but I thought I'll show you anyway. Definitely you will find with vintage sizes it fits smaller. So on the tag it says like 12 or something, but it's like not a size 12. So I do like this, but it's a pure leather skirt in a navy, but it's just too big for me. Look, otherwise I think that would have been really cute. I so would have got that. You can find some really good leather skirts in vintage shops. And this is brand new at $49, which normally costs like a couple of hundred. Oh, such a shame that it's a bit too big. So there's this little skirt, which is kind of fun. It's got mesh underneath, but I think it might make me look a little bit wide. And I do have similar things to this, but this is quite cute too. Well, we'll see. Anyway, we're having a lot of fun. I just found a back section. Oh my goodness, so much to go through. Look, honestly, you could spend so much time in here. That's, that's sweet. Yes, you gotta spend quite a long time, but so much to go through. Okay, what do you think of this jacket? This mirror is kind of dirty, but it's very, very different. My bestie likes it. I'm not sure about my hubby. He'll hate I it. I like it. I really like it. It's very different for me. It gives me a little bit of Isabel Morant vibes. Okay, we're sitting down to have some lunch and I've got the beef brisket fur and Miss rare beef fur. Let's dig in. So we are in Vintage Garage. This is just a few minutes down the road. It is a smaller one, but the prices here seem to be a little bit cheaper. So, just never know. So this is what it looks like. Lights, and then in this section, there's the t-shirts. Yeah, pretty cool place. I've never been here, actually. We can sway but never fall. some boots in here so we're back in the car now the last shop wasn't great to be honest what we have found is definitely because of covid and everything there were a lot of stores in that area that is actually closed and that's the thing with vintage shopping sometimes you find gems sometimes you go out for a whole day and it can be frustrating because you found nothing however there was that one store that we went to we probably should have spent a little bit longer there but we wanted to check out some of the other stores and i did pick up something and so did my bestie so we're happy with that we had a good lunch we had a good catch up so we're really grateful for that 
the weather is actually pretty cool for summer so it wasn't hot so it was just nice to spend time together and you know to go in a city and just have a little, little you know look around next time i will continue to bring you vintage shopping if we do go or even op shop or thrift shopping i may go with my sister i do hope you enjoyed this short vlog if you did like this vintage vlog and you like to see more please give this video a thumbs up so bye for now and i will catch you in my next video bye, bye.